We've been looking for a lightweight cooker to take away when we go camping in the 4i4. We did try a single burner, one of those butane ones, the real cheapies with the plastic cover. But that really was quite limiting, and it really didn't do what we wanted it to. We do have an older style three burner camping cooker, but the flame on those isn't very adjustable. It's quite heavy, and you can't possibly put three pots on it even though it's got three burners. It has a problem of not enough space for larger fry pans and things like that. And the worst thing about it is the wind guards. They're hopeless. And you can see from the picture here that it has a lot of gaps and it just doesn't work very well. Having something lightweight with a good flame adjustment, two burners and the option of using a small one pound gas canister or the larger four kilo or nine kilo gas bottles is what we were after. And we ended up with this Coleman Triton Series 2. The difference from Series 1 to Series 2 appears to be the addition of a piezo automatic lighter, better flame adjustment and a new clip to hold the case shut. The model I saw in the camping store had a barbecue plate on top and around about $100 it seemed like great value. It wasn't until I got it home and saw the fine print that I found out the barbecue plate was an additional extra. This added about another $40 to the price, but I wanted to be able to use it as a small barbecue. So I really didn't have much option but to pony up the money and order one. The barbecue plate fits inside the cooker when it's folded up, and it's also lightweight. So overall, I guess the $140 price tag isn't all that bad. We've already cooked a couple of T-bone steaks on the barbecue plate, and there was quite a bit of wind around. We found that the wind guards did a really good job, and the flame didn't flicker or go out. A lot of gas cookers, even the council barbecues, just don't get hot enough to properly sear steak. And you end up with something that's limp and soggy, rather than a nicely browned piece of meat. No such problem with the Triton, however, as each of the burners puts out 11,000 BTU, and that's plenty of heat to cook a steak to perfection. The good thing is that they can also be adjusted to give a small flame for simmering and the wind guard works well enough so that the flame does not get blown out easily. The piezo lighter is nice to have, just in case you forget to take a packet of matches camping with you. We always try to take some anyway, but it's nice to have the lighter just in case we manage to forget one day. The barbecue plate is quite thin but appears to be strong and the non-stick coating makes cleaning it very easy. The splash guard on the cooker also helps to keep oil and splatter out of the main unit. There is a carry handle of sorts on the underside of the cooker and although I think it could be a little better it does the job okay. It's good to have a gas hose included that allows you to connect directly to a 4 or 9 kilo gas bottle. If you're travelling light then you can connect to the small Coleman one pound gas canisters. We're yet to discover how long they last, but I've heard other people say that they will last up to an hour with the burners on high. If that's the case, then they don't last anywhere near long enough, but we'll only be able to confirm that once we start to using the unit a lot more. The attachment on the side of the cooker that includes a gas regulator looks rather odd, and you would probably have to be careful not to put any undue stress on it but it works well despite the odd appearance. Well, what about problems and changes we'd like to see? The first and probably most important problem is the cooker slipping when you try to light it. Pushing the piezo lighter puts pressure on the unit and it tends to slide backwards very easily. Secondly, there's a lack of any kind of height adjustment underneath. So if you're cooking on uneven surfaces, you have to find something else to slip underneath to level it all up. Both these problems could be easily and cheaply solved by Coleman with the addition of small screw-down rubber feet underneath the unit. As you just saw, the cooker unfortunately has no kind of gripping underneath it at all and will move very easily on a smooth countertop. Uh, one way to fix that is to take along a bit of non-slip matting. You can just roll that up and stick it in the bag with the cooker. Or alternately, I guess what you could do 
is do a little bit of work underneath it and put some rubberized feet on the bottom of it and I think eventually that's what I might do with it but uh, just for the moment we'll use this non-slip matting and as you can see it takes a fair bit of effort now to move it around and just pressing the lighter no longer makes it skate across the top of the counter Originally we thought we'd get away with some ultra lightweight cooking gear but that really turned out to be uh, too small and not practical. So what we've done, we've gone for one of these Audi cookware sets. All fits together rather nicely in the box. I think we'll keep it in the box to protect it and as a way of packaging it quite neatly. And I'll just show you what's in there. So we have a small pot. A large deep cooking pot, and we have a fry pan. Now the whole set was around about fifty dollars, forty-nine dollars. Uh, they look like fairly good quality non-stick coating on it. We'll see how it goes over time. And in order for it to pack away neatly, they have these clip-on handles. Now. I guess that's an area of concern in future. Uh, we'll see just how durable these are. That looks like some kind of plastic. Would probably be better if uh, that was metal rather than plastic, but we'll see how long that lasts. And or it's just, and it's just a matter of plugging that in, locking it on, and it's fairly sturdy. So uh, we'll keep using these for some time before we report back on how durable they are. And we'll let you know how that goes. They're quite lightweight. They're coated. Now, they're probably some kind of aluminium alloy. And aluminium is not the best thing to cook in, uh, either for retention of heat or health. But uh, because they're coated, uh, the health side of it isn't a major concern. But you do not want to cook in bare aluminium pots. Now, the Coleman Triton cooker is fairly wide. And it only has two burners. Now you'll find a lot of the older style cookers will have three burners and still be the same width as this, which is ridiculous. You can't use the third burner for a third pot. So there's only really any point in having two burners. And as you can see from this, even with the wind guards closed right up, there's no problem at all with fitting a decent sized fry pan and the big pot on there. So we're not going to have any problems at all um, doing our cooking as far as space is concerned on top of the cooker. There isn't much else we can say about the cooker just yet, as it's a new addition to our camping gear. But from what we've experienced so far, we like the unit, and would recommend it to anyone looking for a reasonably priced unit. You can of course buy a commercial bag to put your cooker in, but what we recommend you do is have a look around your local op shop and you'll probably find something there that'll do the job just as well. We found this rather nice bag. It is partially padded, so it's good and thick and will protect the cooker. And everything you need will fit in the one spot. And of course it wouldn't be a bad idea to chuck a packet of matches in there as well, just in case one day the piezo lighter fails to work.